Hey kids, Brian Tramon here, Pez Through the Ages. We've got a Facebook page and a YouTube channel. You gotta check us out. This is the Pez Spaceman, one of the earliest of the Pez dispensers. Comes out in 1959. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've done a video on this, but you know what? I think it's just on the Coco March. I'm not sure that I can even find the one I did on just plain old Spaceman. You can see this back in the time frame of just Santa Claus, Halloween, the orange original witch and the original Easter Bunny. Uh, I've got some cool instructions here, but even better, I'm gonna try to send away for this Golden Glow Pez dispenser for 15 cents, Golden Sun Glow dispenser. I've gotta send it to an address that doesn't exist anymore for Pez. I'm gonna see if I can also get some of the Choco and the Lime Cherry, uh, Wild Cherry stuff. And I might send away for the Pez Space Gun for just 25 cents. Hmm. I wonder what color I'll get. Zone. What zone am I in? I guess that's my zip code. Guys, let's check this out. We've done a video on the Cocoa Marsh, and I hope you'll check that out. What you'll see is that there are three different stems. You can get the words going up or down, depending on how they put the plate in the machine. And you can get clear or transparent blue for those crystal collectors. Helmet. Okay, light blue, dark blue, and kind of a metallic blue. We see the same color scheme here in the regular Spacemen. Metallic blue, of course, is the coolest. These, uh, the Spaceman, again, come out in 1959. Forget that vending box in the back. That's left over from something else. Then we get Astronaut A, and I've definitely done a video on this. It talks about the earpiece and the non-earpiece. It talks about the coolness of that marble stem. You see that river running through it up here at the top as well. And then this cool thing on the back, you can really catch the marbling. Anyway, uh, this one happens to be on a 3-4 Austria with this weird 1 IMC what up up here. We don't know what that is. Upper left of the P and the shadow, no shadow stem. Uh, the rest here, this, this uh, Light blue is the craziest, rarest that I've got. But here we're talking about Astronaut B. There are two flavors of these, at least in the mainstream. There's the aqua and there's the green. I'm sorry, well, there's aqua and green stems. There's blue and white hats. Mine happen to be on the same 3.9 Austria 8 with a single plastic leaf spring and the plastic hinge. There's no metal going on in there except for the string that pushes out the candy. Now, these also both have this uh, yellowish insert or sleeve. I got both of mine way back when, probably 15 years ago. These things will run you close to 100 bucks a piece, but you can also find one of these that has the Knoxville, Tennessee World's Fair on a green stem, one on a blue stem, no others have been found, just one of each, and those will run you at least $10,000. So, go for one-tenth of a thousand dollars, and that's just a hundred dollars for those who need some help with their math. hundred bucks a piece. You can't, you can't do better than that. Well, actually you can. You can find them cheaper than a hundred bucks on the, the eBay. They're, uh, they're not as pretty as Astronaut A, but Astronaut A, that thing's gonna run you close to a thousand. Uh, I don't know, 500 or more, depending on how risky you wanna get on eBay. You can get this guy, nice and cheap. He comes on this cool pink stem, kinda like the uh, uh, Snow White hot pink from back in the day. The sh no shadow on this side, shadow on that side, and this weird Space Odyssey type of thing going on on the inside, all metal. Stem, cool sleeve with like a smooth thing going on here instead of the more typical rectangle or something to give it some added strength. Uh, or you get them on the plastic, just like that. So that's Spaceman 1959. I don't remember what I said earlier. You've got Astronaut A, 1962, and Astronaut B, 1977.